Hi guys, Heather Divine Guidance Tarot back at you with another pick a deck. This time it's how can you manifest this relationship? So before we pick our decks, my usual spiel, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, please don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at divine, G-U-U-D-A-N-C-E, tarot by Heather at gmail.com, and we'll get you set up. So let's pick our piles. One, two, three, or four. pile okay and let's see how you can manifest this relationship I'm gonna move these up out of the way Okay, sorry. I want to make sure I kept them in the right order. Um, so if you chose this little butterfly earring, how can you manifest this relationship? So I picked out a poem for you and your this for the, this relationship. <clears throat> I picked "Always" by Lord Byron, and the you know, line from the poem I picked was, I was yours before I knew, and you have always been mine too. So how can you manifest this relationship? Awakening. Positivity. If you can, if you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore you to the, to the light. Please, dear God, let me always feel gratitude for something even a tiny thing in even the hardest situations. Fate. Synchronicity. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. The Empress, time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Justice, the Emperor, hey, we have an Emperor and an Empress. Perfect match with justice in between. The Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, and the world. So I'm going to show you your spread, okay? And then I'm going to talk about it. Okay. So I feel how you're going to manifest this relationship, how you're going to manifest this is simply by letting go. Now, letting go is different than giving up, okay? Okay, so I feel like with this, do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. This is saying to give attention to yourself, to the Empress, because it's right by the Empress. Okay? Do something for yourself. Manifest positivity into your life by using what, by using what you have learned through an awakening that you've obviously had if you're here. Pay attention to the synchronicities in your life, okay? 
Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. Right? Fate, flow, just go with it. With this world card here, it's an ending, right? It's ending the cycle of feeling like there's karma between you and your person. It's stopping the negative thinking, the bad habits. It's them not feeling good enough for you. It's like the more you focus on yourself, the more this person's going to focus on themselves. The more you focus on cleaning up your act, the more this person's going to focus cleaning up their act. The more you focus on being the queen of pentacles, on being grounded and stable, motherly, open, you know, as long as you keep a positive vibe, know that this relationship has already been manifested. It just, the timing hasn't been determined. So it's all about going with the flow, right? And divine timing. So just take care of yourself. And know that you've always been each other's. All right, if you chose the ring... Your love poem is, It Will Not Change by Sarah Teasdale. Life has not broken it with parting or tears. Death will not alter it. It will live on in all my songs for you when I am gone. Perception. Enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. Judgment. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet. I love you. These are very important words. The wheel. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Cups. Judgment. The Knight of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. And I'll show you your spread before we get started. So how can you manifest this relationship? Okay, on second. Oh, sorry about that. I was having a coughing attack. So how can you manifest this relationship? Well, I feel like... I feel like you guys have issues with uh, the way you perceive yourself or the way other people perceive you. Okay, I feel like you want to enjoy you know, life and enjoy being around your friends, but I feel like 
it's almost like you are the type of person that always feels judged by others. Okay. I also feel as though you have a guard up. Okay, you have you're guarding yourself against love. Okay, you're, you're perceiving the situation wrong. You're judging the situation wrong. Whatever sneaky behavior happened with this, I'm feeling like it's just like a one night stand or some flirting or like a, um, I just feel like this was some sort of relationship that never really got a chance to get off the ground. You got judgment twice, okay, with the you're being helped. I feel like in order to manifest it, you have to see it differently because your person is seeing it differently, okay? You kind of have to see how it will be, it would be in your person's eyes, how your person wants it to manifest, and then kind of try and blend the two so that it's kind of like an equal give and take, you know, kind of try and blend. Um, And I definitely feel like enjoying your friends, enjoying your life is going to help manifest this relationship. You chose the locket. Your love poem is, and she loved a boy very much, even more than she loved herself. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. You know what's really funny? This locket says mom. And to me, the giving tree in The tree in the giving tree was always a mother figure, always represented a mother figure to me. So I think that's very interesting that the locket says mom and it turned to, out to be the giving tree poem by Shel Silverstein. Hmm. So wisdom. Being enough. The innermost heart says you are enough. Nowhere to go, nothing to get, nothing to change. No need to grow, more deserving. You, yes you, are love. Integrity. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Balance. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. The Eight of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Hermit, the Magician, and the Eight of Pentacles. And I'll show you your spread before we get started. Mm -hmm. 
So how can you manifest this relationship? I feel like you can manifest this relationship by walking away from it. I think it's really funny that in the story, the uh, giving tree, she just kept giving and giving and giving and giving, right? She just kept giving and giving. Why? Because she wanted to be enough for the little boy. Just be enough. And it's funny that you got the being enough, you know? And the let yourself receive. That tree never received anything back from that boy. If you're not receiving anything back from this person, then walk away. Quickly. Stop putting in all of this hard work and effort with the Eight of Pentacles twice. You've put in, been putting in so much effort and work and manifestation and time into this. Some of you have even gone to psychics or, you know, picked up a deck yourself or done some spell work, some jar magic, some candle magic, anything to get this person to just take a chance on you. You gave so much of yourself to this relationship, okay? But now's the time to have the wisdom and the integrity to manifest your own life in your own way and keep your pentacles for yourself. This relationship will manifest, but only when you stop giving to it. When did the old man, I mean, when did the boy finally come back to the tree? When he was an old man, right? And the tree was like, I don't have anything else to give you. And what did that old man want? He wanted somewhere to sit, right? Just somewhere to sit. And that tree finally got what she wanted. She finally got her boy back. But she lost herself in the process. So, <clears throat> he chose the watch. How can you manifest this relationship? And the poem I chose for you is How Do I Love Thee by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. In my old griefs and with my childhood's faith, I love thee with a love I seem to lose. How do I love thee? <clears throat> so how can you manifest this relationship? Discernment. Self-acceptance. Nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being to fully love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. Trickery. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. The Hermit. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. 
the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Wands. And I'll show you your spread before we start. Okay. How can you manifest? By deciding to finally be your authentic self. By finding and being your, your authentic self. By knowing that people will love you and accept you without trickery. You don't have to put on a false mask. You don't have to trick people into liking you. You're fun. Okay? You don't have to trick people. I feel like in order to manifest this relationship, you need to understand that even when you do bad things or bad things are done to you, you still have the protection of the universe. Like, in order to get this to manifest, you have to accept yourself. You have to accept yourself. You can't be who this person wants you to be. Okay, you can't try and turn yourself into something that, or somebody that this person wants you to be. Okay, you have to be authentic to who you are. Okay, and I feel the spend some quality time together is you spending quality time with spirit with God, with your higher self. Knowing the difference between, you know, taking a spiritual break and fully giving up. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are thinking about giving up on this path. Okay, I feel as though you guys have kind of lost touch with whatever faith you guys had. I feel as though you feel like this was all one big trick. Like the universe is laughing at you. Like I feel as though a lot of you guys feel as though you turned your whole life upside down using what you thought was you know, the universe's guidance, and now you're like, well, what did I get out of it? And even if you didn't get anything in the physical, you got a lesson in self-acceptance at least. I really feel as though um, you just... have to know that you're enough. You actually have to believe that you're enough. All right, that was that. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at divine, G-U-U-G-A-N-C-E, tarot by Heather at gmail.com, and we'll get you set up. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Love and light.